So in general, it sounds like using a high dose of chemotherapy would be good because it'll kill off more cells, but there have been some recent evolutionarily inspired theories that use lower doses and have mice su surviving longer with cancer. Wh who's been doing that? How's it working out? Bob, Bob Gatenby has done some of that work at the Moffitt Cancer Center in Orlando, Florida. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So what's the rationale for using a lower dose? Well, he's challenging uh, an unstated assumption, which is that cancer is so bad we must destroy it at all costs. And his approach has been to say, to say, well, maybe we don't have to destroy it at all costs if those costs are imposed on the patient. Instead, let's manage the disease so that it does less damage. And we can do that with lower doses. So he calls his therapy adaptive chemotherapy. Yeah, so he's, he, he adapts the dose to how fast the tumor is growing? Exactly right. If, when the tumor is growing too fast, he increases the medication to slow it down. When it's growing slow enough, he can reduce the medication, make it easier on the patient. So which mice die sooner, the ones that get high-dose chemotherapy or low-dose um, ad adaptive chemotherapy? Well, ad the adaptive therapy means changing between changing the dose as needed between high and low. So ideally, we, we the goal would be to use a high enough dose to keep the tumor from growing. The tumor, if the tumor can't grow, it won't kill the patient. But the other side of adaptive therapy is we can use the lowest dose that's needed to manage the tumor, and a lower dose of therapy won't kill the patient. So, so is, this, the is this just to protect the patient? Or I've also heard people say that how this works is that the lower dose maintains the ecology around the cancer so it inhibits the cancer, while a higher dose essentially opens up the system with open spaces so the worst cells can grow the faster. Do you think that's how it works or is something else going on? I think it's not completely clear. These ideas need to to be turned into hypotheses that can be rigorously tested. Mm. A couple uh, of mouse studies so far, and people are starting to talk about strategies for using these ideas in humans now. Yes. Mm. As these news, uh, new ideas come under the radar screen, they need to be sifted by experiments, throw out the ideas that mm. are proven wrong, keep the others, and... A different kind of evolution. A different kind keep, of evolution. Keep the good ideas and toss out the rest. Exactly right. Good.